Hello everyone, or welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos. If this is the first time, my name is Nicolas, I'm a certified via Soul Frenchie located in Laguna Beach, California. And I have created this platform to mainly talk about fashion, luxury items, or bags. So if you are, like me, interested about one of those topics, please do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel. You can also check my Instagram that I'm going to put right here. Um, that's where we can become internet friend. Okay, for today's video, I really wanted to discuss one of my favorite pair of shoes, my favorite loafers, really. And those are the Gucci loafers. We have seen it in the title of this video, but um, yes, that's the one I really wanted to show you today, discuss today, and give you some inspiration on how to style them. So just a little a bit of a story uh, here before uh, I'm showing you how I will style these shoes. I bought my first uh, Gucci loafers, so Jordan, that's the name of, of, of them. I'm not really sure how we pronounce it, but let's call them the Gucci loafers. I bought this pair probably in 2017 in the... Um, airport of Paris, Charles de Gaulle. We wanted to go with a black one first to uh, be safe, I, I would say, and because I thought this would have been the color I would have worn the most, and I think I was, I was right about that. So I worn them since 2017 or 2018, I cannot remember, uh, quite a bit. I don't want to show you the back of the shoes because I will can, I'm kind of ashamed of, of, of those, um, but I've worn them for weddings, special events, day to go to work, uh, party, birthday, whatever, you, you name it really. They are super, super versatile. You can dress them up, obviously, for special events or dress them down for daily use. I wore them so much that I felt like buying another pair would, uh, would be a great idea in order to, I would say, give those ones some rest, but also bring Another um, another touch to other outfits that I will that I will uh, normally wear, and I knew that because I love those ones so much, adding another color will I will love them just as much. That's why I bought the brown one this year, a couple of months ago, and I've already worn them so much, especially for for work with um, with beige pants. But I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that to you after, and those are exactly the same as the. Uh, as a black one, right? Uh, they are four or five years apart, uh, but they're exactly the same model. You know, you have the gold horse beads in the in front of the of the shoes, um, and I mean the black look exactly the same. They are both size nine. I'm generally a size nine point five in the US, so I would say they are sizing a little bit small. I found that. I would recommend for you to try them before you are you are buying them. You can always send them back if you are ordering online. I would say that they are very comfortable. The leather, you can obviously feel it's a very high quality. As I said, I have bought the black one at the airport in Paris and they didn't give me any boxes because I didn't have any room to take that back home. However, I have bought the brown one through Farfetch and it's like a green box like that, uh, just in case if you were wondering. And when you open the box, obviously it came with like a little thing like that. Yeah, anyway, that's a box. So in this video, I again really wanted to give you some inspiration on how to style those shoes. Uh, this is typically a video I will have looked for on, on YouTube and I didn't really find a lot of them. So hopefully this is adding a little bit of more inspiration for you guys out there that might be interested about those loafers. And as I said, the good thing about those shoes is you can dress them up or dress them down. And you're gonna see me style those in five different outfits. At the end of the video or during the video, as you, as you wish, I would love you to tell me which look is your favorite and why. And without further ado, let's get started. So outfit number one, and I want you to think beautiful spring summer day. As you can see, I have timbered my brown loafers with the slim blue jeans from Kos. 
I bought this one many, many years ago, by the way, and it hasn't moved. The quality is great. It is cropped and let the loafers definitely be the star of this outfit. The Ralph Lauren white cotton shirt is giving us smart vibes, but not tucked in the pants. It gives a relaxed look, in my opinion. To transition day to night, and again, we are in summer, uh, we have a touch of color with this cashmere sweater from Vince. I love the uh, blush pink. I love to complete the look with this pink cap from Acne Studio. What do you guys think about this one? Okay, look number two, different seasons, different vibes here. This is my typical dinner date night outfit all year round in California. Here, I have teamed up my black loafers with one of my favorite pants from Ami Paris. I think the length of the pants is really perfection with those shoes. Because the pants are large, I wanted something a little bit more tight on the top, so I picked this turtleneck from Acne Studio. If it's chilly outside and we need to add a layer, I'll definitely choose a dark blazer um, like this vintage Armani. And voila. Look number three and we are back in summer. And who says summer says probably wedding, right? This outfit is my go-to for almost every wedding I have attended recently. To mix it up, you just have to change your tie or your bow tie if you're wearing one. And that's it. Le tour est joué. The pants are from Ami Paris again. And I love how cropped they are. For a non-wedding situation though, I will probably not wear any socks. The white linen shirt is from Vince and the belt is from this brand called Apolis, but I'm not sure if it's still available. For a wedding, I will definitely wear a blazer and this one is from Sandro and definitely complete this look in my opinion. What do you guys think? Back to black with this outfit number four and my black loafers are being paired with those dark jeans from Sandro. Black t-shirt too, this is definitely a casual look. I think those pants are very interesting because they have this 70s look that goes very well with those shoes in my opinion. I really like the way they feel and how they fit. To transition day to night, let's add a jacket and I want to stay casual so I'm picking this vintage Levis one that I found probably 15 or 16 years ago in Toulouse where I'm from. I also love how it's adding a little bit of color to the outfit. Okay, last one, but definitely not the least. We are adding a little bit of color with this last look. Here I have paired my brown Gucci loafers to a large brown pants from Sandro again. And for this look, I wish the pants were a little bit longer, but I still think this is acceptable. I also could have gone monochromatic, but in order to avoid disappearing in this video, I choose a pop of color options. This pink shirt is from Ralph Lauren, and here again, I'm using my Apple's belt. And finally, would it be really my channel if I was not mentioning Hermes or my Kelly 35, right? I think this bag looks particularly good with this outfit, isn't it? And that's the end of this video, guys. Thanks a lot to have watched it. I hope you have liked it. I personally really like doing this type of video, this type of like uh, inspiration uh, outfit. This is the type of video I will have liked to, I think, to watch when I was thinking about buying those shoes. So hopefully if you have those shoes in your wardrobe, this has gave you more inspiration on how to style them. Also, if you have some regular loafers in your wardrobe, it doesn't need to be a Gucci. Huh? Uh, but if you have like the regular loafers in your wardrobe, hopefully it does give you some inspiration to style those as well. Let me know again in the comment down below which outfits 
was your favorite. I'm really looking forward to discuss with you in, in the comments. If it's not already done, don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and check my Instagram. And beside that, I, I hope to see you in my next video. I wish you a very good day wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you again in my channel. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day.